today i will cover the topic special side effects are so i will go for this uh, introduction for what is azure side uh, recovery and azure side recovery plan and a demo for configuration of azure side recovery so first we will go for what is azure side recovery so what is azure side recovery mean azure side recovery is a feature of microsoft azure and its short name is called as ASR, azure side recovery and give your business continuity and disaster recovery capability with your Azure environment. Okay. BCDR means business continuity disaster recovery. Means how to we can keep your workload, app, data, etc. available in the event of the significant failure. So simple example, uh, you have the one uh, Azure VM in the America, East US. So anything happen, example power, any significant failure will be app, uh, happen. What happen? Your app or data or website will be down okay the users will cannot reach your website so better you always you need to give the accessibility so always your system will be online so that is the important of azure site recovery so bc at business continuity disaster recovery so site recovery can manage for replication so what replication they will provide on premises azure stack vm and physical server and vm also okay so we will go for next what can i replicate replicate azure uh, replication scenario replicate azure vm from one azure region to another replicate on premise vm hyper v physical servers uh, both windows and linux azure stack and uh, vm to azure replicate aws windows instant to azure replicate on premises vm and hyper v managed system and send. okay region you need to select the region in the azure replicate mission Azure VM replicate on premises VM and physical servers. Okay, workload. You can replicate any workload running on the mission to support for replication and site recovery team and did up uh, specific test. Okay, so I just go for next topic uh, the diagram matic. Okay, this diagram you need to check region one and region two. So the region two is our replication region. So once the failover anything happen in the region one. The web and the web 2 and app and app 2 and db and db1 will be online so this is azure side recovery diagram so uh, the availability see sl service level agreement and availability set okay once example anything happen in the region one this automatically replicated to region two and if always will be your app and data will be live and online okay so next what is uh, azure recovery plan recovery plan means example you need to make one plan uh, like you can make customized plan example you were uh, what happened after your shutdown or anything happened your first uh, primary server what happened how to we can move for the secondary region so you need to make this one this is automation process you need to make your azure recovery plan so a recovery plan gather machine to recovery group and the purpose of the failure recovery plan help you to define system and recovery process by creating small independent unit and you can fail over okay so recovery plan process also same like this one recovery plan define how mission to fail over and a sequence to which is the start and after failover see the recovery plan define how mission is failover and the sequence in which they start after the failover okay recovery plan can be used to both failover to fail back from the azure you can customize the plan and add order instruction and task so you can give the customized the plan how to we can run the one that is which is the failover and how to we will move to the next window so this one so by use the recovery plan it's also modern app around independency and recovery time of objective example what is recovery time of when your system will be down so you need to open open up your another system the secondary region so that is called as uh, recovery how, how time to take to your site will be up so recovery time of objective can be fulfilled. okay so next we will go for azure portal and i will tell you how to we can configure uh, sure good so side plan okay so now we will reach our portal and uh, portal .com okay so i just first i will create one resource group so before i create some resource group so i will create a new resource group okay then we will go just click the re create a resource group so i will put the name example the region already select you can select whatever the region you need okay so I just uh, create East uh, East uh, US RS recovery. Okay, whatever you need, just to create. I will create this one. Next, uh, you need to put the tag. You can 
but uh, default I will not put this one I just go for create okay it's take a little time to complete just uh, hold on wait okay okay uh, east rsa is already created I go for east rsa so next step I just make for one uh, our region one one uh, Ashok Kuchilme. okay just to go for create then also you can go for here also you can mean just search market what you will search virtual machine virtual yeah select this virtual machine okay so virtual machine i will select i just select our regions okay just to click the create okay so you need to create the name uh, virtual machine okay i will put east us vm1 whatever the name you want to create okay i select already east um rsa our and select a resource group what are the resources you will create just select a resource group and this one i will put stand available this one because it's go for the recommended in the demo purpose we don't want this one so just click the image windows defender then we will give it to our username just uh, create username then okay pass then uh, default yes it is we will go for everything in the default okay so demo purpose if you the original you need to what are the recommended for your company but now I go for everything uh, as per the default uh, okay okay we will auto shut down next advance okay i will go for advance yeah this one also i will put next tag uh, review and create okay just waiting for the creation okay just create okay i create so just wait for the virtual machine creation okay i will just click here so it's group created and virtual machine also created so okay initialize it so next to what the step i will go for create one recovery service what first okay you know i just go for create another uh, our uh, resource group for uh, replication okay so i just go for create the another resource group for our replication purpose so east us2 we will replicate to west us3 okay so i just create one resource group for west us3 okay just click the create button and select uh, uh, resource group like a uh, so create one resource group west us3 resource group okay then you you should select here the region west us3 then review and so you just you need to put the tag you can put the tag but i will not put anything just i will go for create and just to create the review and create okay just to click the create so after the step we needed to create one recovery service vault for in the our best us3 so you already create our virtual machine in the east us so we need to replicate our east us3 the west us so we needed to create one recovery service vault in the uh, west us okay just i will go for creating the west uh, us so you need to check your west us 3 okay just uh, we will uh, create now one recovery service part okay just to go for recovery service part just to create one recovery service part click on this one Then our resource group we select uh, West US 3G. Then recovery vault. 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 West. 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 Okay. Then our region is West US 3. Then let's go for networking and I will just go for next tag and then review and create. Also, you just wait for creating the recovery service work okay so we will go for our actual machine already created so we will yeah just to go for our 
deployment successful. So just to go for waiting for this one, and I will go for a. So our so yeah. Yes, our information already done. So we or yeah, okay. So we need to replicate this virtual machine to our failover region. Okay. So our job is we need to replicate this virtual machine to the our best US3. So we are waiting for the recovery service vault to the progress operation. Okay. After recovery service vault will be um, finished, then we can go for replication. Okay. Just wait for the creation of the recovery service vault. So our uh, recovery service vault creation is successful. So now we will go for our uh, recovery service vault. Okay. Just uh, type here recovery service vault. Yeah. This vault I think we are creating now. Best uh, US3 vault. Okay. For this one. This one the time. No? Yeah. We will go for the recovery service vault. Just to click this one, we will check the site replication. Duplicate item. Yeah. Okay, so see, this is our uh, recovery service vault. See, this is your blade. Okay, so we need to replicate our item. So we just click here. Uh, sorry, we will go to the site recovery. So we Okay, then here you can see protect and password disaster recovery, assure site recovery, protect your data center from the disaster recovery, help business continuity. So here you can see Azure virtual machine and the VMware virtual machine and Hyper-V. So now we will go for Azure virtual machine uh, replicator. So after uh, my second video will be coming Hyper-V also. Okay, so just uh, we will click for enable the replication. So this step we need to create our replication. Okay. Source region East US where our uh, VM is the East US. So you select your subscription and select the resource group. I East US RSA. Then you need to uh, select resource manager or classic. And uh, I know I will not because this is a demo purpose. If otherwise you need to recover between the availability source. Okay, just to click in next. Okay, see. This is our VM before we create okay East US VM mode. So select that one. Then once you select this one, then uh, next will be for because you select already East US uh, resource group. Then East US resource group have the VM. Then we will select that for because this VM we need to replicate. Okay. Then click in next, and then we will go for the uh, replication steps. Okay. So where you want to replicate our target location? There best US three. So select that one best us3 okay so then you can select your best us target uh, resource group so we will, our resource group is best us rg so we will select that one best us rg then this one failover network is automatically created if you need to create you can create so okay but i will go for the uh, uh, default okay so here storage storage is contained separately each virtual machine so storage account is already configured because once you create in the virtual machine already there so you needed to check that view just to go for view and edit see here we, this storage account already we have so this or this one we need to replicate so this we need to no need to change and you need to anything to change you can go for the changes and the cache storage already in the recovery okay so i just go for cancel it and availability option also, I will tell you what single instance. Single instance means example your data center. If the data will be stored on the that same data center, if you go for availability zone, it go for different zones, different data centers. So one data center in the your region and go for save the instant for another one. And also you can go for the region basis also. Okay. So this one is also okay. Target approximate of the place of the region. So now I will go for the default whatever you need. Okay. Just you need to select. And this one capacity reservation, you need to select reserved one capacity for the replication area if it available. So you just click this one and you need to select whatever the so currently I will go for the uh, default. Okay, 
so i will just click the next button okay manage with the same uh, yeah replication boards you want to create a new replication just click here and how many days you need to recognition and you can enter the recognition and send the and system and click okay okay so i will go for default and just click for the next so just enable the replication uh, it take a little bit of time so after it will be finished i will come back okay so i will now post the video okay so our uh, replication is completed so we will go for our replication items okay Uh, see our replication now completed. So what is next? We will go just to click with this one. I need, I will make one recovery plan. Okay, just to go for side recovery plan. Just I create one recovery plan. So what is our recovery plan? Uh, best US three plan recovery okay then source where source is east us okay target where west us okay then select deployment method resource manager and select your vm okay so i just to go for select our vm east us okay so now we will create our recovery plan so just wait for the recovery plan creation okay this one is a progress okay so i will tell you how to we can enable the test to failover after query plan okay progress is completed i think okay so just uh, okay. uh we will go for here test to failover okay here we need to first we need to go for here test to fail test to failover is what is test to fail test to failover we will check the uh, uh, the everything is okay or not because we can uh, it's like a de demi demo purpose demi purpose like we will go for test failover then uh, our resource group is automatically fail over to the other region or not so this one go for the test failover so as to the requirement of the microsoft microsoft tell you should do the before failover you should do the test failover so i just wait for the i will tell you one thing also just to go for our uh, recovery service work and we need to go for our this and then we will check one thing also what is the status so this is our replicated item okay. so just to click for the replicated items so this already see here showing the synchronization is zero percentage so it take the status will be coming protected okay then we will go for the uh, test failover so here see you can see the test failover is why the status is unprotected still one. so what they will do they will take your uh, last recovery point of object what recovery point of that because what the recovery uh, the state will be they will take so once status will be coming protected we will go for the test failure so it take little time to complete the status and complete synchronization just to give you check the refresh so still uh, still ongoing the process is ongoing so just to wait for the status will be completed okay so i just wait for the status is completed i will return back okay uh, see now the status is protected uh, the rpu they will take for the 40 minutes before okay so now we will go for the test failure you can do here the test failure or you can do from your uh, recovery plan okay uh, replicate plan just to go for our uh, recovery plan site recovery then i will do that test failure there okay just to go click here if i just uh, click the test failure okay here i just click the test failover uh from the east us to west us and uh, recovery point last lost recovery point and virtual network uh, vm east vnet uh so i just vm east vnet asr and v east uh, svm to the okay just a bit i just have one so just give me a little time i will check one thing 
see, I just go for a resource loop. I, I have confused what is our network name. East uh, SE one net ASR. Okay. So I just uh, go for take this one. Okay. So again, I will go for the our uh, resource group. Then I will go for our ASR East. Yeah, ASR uh, best US 3G. So recovery service vault. Steve's one. Okay. Then I will go to test plan recovery site plan. Then I will do the site recovery. Just uh, test failover. Click the test failover. Okay. Then you need to create here this TVM1. Okay. So then we will uh, create our last RP here. Then from East US to West US. Okay. Then click OK. So test failover is in the progress. Okay. After we will confirm, uh, we will check the failover is okay and everything will be fine or not. Okay. Then after that, we will clean up our test failover. Okay, just wait for the completion of our test failover status. Okay, so you can need to check the events. Just to go for here, just use three G. So you need to go for recovery service vault. So I will check our backup the events. Okay, recovery. You can go for here. Uh, just you can check your events. Replicated items. So here, see in, initiating the test failure, already initiating the test failure. And here you can check your events. So once see the failure will be finished, then you can clean up here. So we needed to check our uh, events, okay. Okay, we go for uh, site recovery jobs. So see, here you can see the events. So we go to the down, you can see the site recovery job. Then you can see, we will do our uh, test failover is in the progress so remaining all will be success recovery plan we will create and we protect the item already finished so here you can go for check your uh, site recovery jobs okay then after this completed we will be, be successful if it, any problem we need to again do the test failure okay so we will wait for the completion of the test failure okay. see the test failure is complete you can see it's successful, successful, successful. So we will go for our site recovery. Okay, again, uh, this US 3. Okay, then we will go for our recovery service one. Then you go to the replicated item. See here you can see, see your test recovery is completed. So just click here. See, now the test failover is completed. The status is clean up your test failover pending. So here you can see the newborn started and it used. So we will just go for our site recovery plan. We need to check the recovery plan. I will show you the recovery plans. See here we will go for recovery plans. So here we need to clean up. But before clean up, I will show you something. See here. Yeah, I think, yeah, we need to clean up. First, we need to clean up, okay? Just to go for clip clean up. Then we, okay. Then you will clean up, okay? So, the clean up process also now start. So, now I will go for our uh, virtual machine. What is any back type is in here? So, you just go for here. Here, you can see the East VM already is there and also one so this one uh, first uh, east us one vm test already created so here is the test vm because i told you before the replication time test process is on good so after after will be clean up the test process automatically will be deleted so i will go for again what is the status of the test is still uh, is on growing on growth processing okay so after we will be finished, the virtual machine will be automatically deleted, okay. See our uh, cleanup test failover is completed, okay. Then just I will go for refresh. See, 
now I told you the test VM will be automatic so now we need to do the original failover okay just to go for your uh, recovery service plan go to the resource group or uh, so recovery plan you need to go go for here or go for uh, resource group also works so I just to go for our uh, SPS CD then we will uh, recovery service world rest degree then we go for our uh, recovery service planet <coughs> see here the test failure green up is complete so what is next next we needed to do the failover failure means source to target so we already create our uh, recovery service yeah you want to see that also i will show you See, see all group will be shut down group one okay then what happened mission one mission and replicated the group will be that so see east us mission we already created if you need to edit this one just a click here you can edit this groups from here to here see deleted mission or you needed to you needed to edit in your own process you add pre pack and add post tag what is needed to do the after what happened in the end, then what happened we can do it so you can also edit from here what is the action you can do so you can customize with this uh, recovery service plan okay so now i will go to do the do that uh, failover because test failure already completed so i need to just do for the failover just to click this one failover okay okay failover direction from east to us to west to us change the direction and we will select our last repeat and shut down mission before doing why we ask it for? because we don't want to data loss so first you need to shut down if you need to shut down shut down otherwise this automatically will be shut down then they will be ideal one of the one observation will be failover okay just click ok button then what happened the failover original failover will be started after the failover will be completed the source will be changed to the tab so uh, we will wait for the failover completion okay service plan test failure okay just to go for i just next to go for the commit so what is the commit okay before we will go just i will show you the microsoft mission also just to go for here then uh, click the virtual machine so you can understand uh, the replication process see the east us before we have the east us machine is stopped okay and deallocated and the east vs uh, virtual machine which virtual machine machine is now with the resource group okay the west us is ready so you understand what uh, the replication will be going on east us to west us so now we will uh, what is commit okay i will explain also that commit we will just go for our recovery service work uh, just to go for here you can see the commit uh, so we will go for our suite because recovery service want west to just to go for here and you can just to go for the recovery plan so after that we we'll, we will do the commit commit means once you will be test failure will be complete your device also will be transferred so if you agree for that uh, replication if it's okay for you just commit and save because they will start the processing only that one okay so just uh, just whatever because you know that what is the replication is the last replication process the replay demo of object so once you completed committed this one so they will start for that whatever the last backup they take that one and then the your system will be ready. so it's willing to if it okay for that uh, recovery then only they, you should be commit okay because little bit wait my network maybe it's it is slow so just we will wait for that okay to go for here and you can see because i already committed before so that's why so see once you completed your uh, uh, failover then you just click here commit button 
So after that, commit will be completed. Okay. So what is commit? I already I tell you. The commit means uh, whatever the failure was. Uh, if it's okay for you, you will be transfer your replication to the other region. So you need to it's okay. It's that replication is okay. They will take from the la uh, recovery time of the last recovery point. They will take. So if you are willing to this area, then you can just commit and start the process. So if you know, then they you will need to again do the failure okay so just uh, i will go for here and if you need to again do the failure just click here okay just you need to change the source so, uh, return back after see from west us to east us okay then change the direction plan and you can here to take the road plan and then click the so i think now you can understand my video uh, if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much